Hi guys, I'm Miro. Welcome to the next part of my series about ASP.NET Core 2. So in the previous part we have created the return controller. Therefore in this part we will create and test out all return views. So let's start. As first let me fix some mistakes from previous part. Open the controller folder and return controller. And there are two small issues. The first one is in this method find with author and borrower. We have to filter for books which have a borrower. And the second typo is here. And that's it. And now we can start with views for this return controller. Create new folder within views folder. And the name will be return. And we are going to create two views, empty and list view. So I will start with empty view. Ctrl Shift A to create new item. Search for MVC view and the name will be empty. And this view will contain only one line of code. There is nothing to return. Save and close. And once again, Ctrl Shift A to create new item, MVC view page and the second will be list. And hit that button. So model for this view will be a collection of books. And then there is a simple table which consists of book ID, book title, author name, the borrower name and one button. This button will navigate to the return controller and the return a book. And the argument will be the current book ID. And that's it for this view. Save and close. Now we are missing only the attribute routing for the list method within the return controller and button in our layout file. So I will start with the attribute routing. Go to the return controller and list method. And that's it. Save and close. And now to our menu button. I will open the view, shared and layout file. And there are our buttons. We will navigate to the return controller. And the label will be returned as well. Now we can test it out. So run the application with F5. And now we have to navigate to the land view. Because if you want to return some book, you have to land it first. So I will land these first two books to Justin and the second to Leoma. And these two books are gone because we are showing only the available books. And now to the return view. And these books are there. And when we return these two books, they should appear back in the land view. So first and second. And this is our empty view. There is nothing to return. And back to the land view. And there are they. And that's it. And this will be everything for this part. You can find the code from this lesson on my GitHub account. I will provide the link in the video description. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And see you in the next part.